Today, we're going to be talking about the different types of loops you can use in your programs and why loops are so useful. Firstly, what exactly is a loop? A programming loop is a statement that is used to run certain instructions repeatedly. This is very useful for a variety of reasons. For instance, imagine you want to print something 15 times. Sure, you could just copy and paste the print statement 15 times, but this is really annoying to have to do and becomes even more unrealistic when that number goes up to say 100 times or so. This is one way that a loop is useful. Instead of rewriting the same instructions over and over again, simply place the print statement inside of a loop and it will occur as many times as you would like. There are three different types of loops that I will discuss in this video. Firstly is the for loop. A for loop is very useful for situations such as the one described above, where you would like to instantly carry out some set of instructions multiple times. This is because a for loop occurs entirely in one iteration through your program, which is seemingly instant. The syntax for a for loop varies depending upon the language. However, it typically depends upon an integer value, which you give an initial value, an operation, and a condition. Each time the for loop runs, the operation you set will be performed on the integer. As long as that integer meets the condition you set, usually being greater than or less than a constant value, the for loop will continue to run. Eventually, when the integer has increased or decreased by enough to no longer meet that condition, the for loop will be completed. Make sure to set up a condition that, given the initial integer value and the operation, will at some point no longer be met to avoid creating an infinite for loop and crashing your program. Another useful statement when considering a for loop is the break statement, which will instantly terminate the for loop upon being reached. After the for loop is the very similar for each loop or for in loop in Python. A for in slash for each loop is used for iterating through arrays or lists. Essentially, the loop will carry out some set of instructions for each element in an array. If you would like to read the elements of an array and compare them to some value before some operation on them, a for each loop is extremely useful. Next, we have a while loop. A while loop will continually carry out its instructions while a condition is true. While loops are different than for loops in that the loop does not occur all at once, but will continually carry out its instructions so long as the condition is false. Like with a for loop, you can make the condition such that it will eventually return false and exit the loop. However, while loops will not crash your computer should you create an infinite loop. In fact, it is very common for while loops to run infinitely as, for certain programs, you would like the program to continually be iterated through instead of running once, all the way until you exit out of the program. When programming a game, for instance, a while loop would be used to iterate through your code continually refreshing the screen as the game runs. Creating an infinite while loop would simply be done using the syntax while true, as the condition true will always be evaluated as true, and thus the while loop will continue to run always. Next, we have an extension of the while loop, the do while loop. Do while loops are very similar to the while loops, except that they will carry out their instructions at least once, even if the condition is false, and then will carry on such as a basic while loop would. Essentially, Loops have many useful functions. You can perform any operation many times in a row. You can iterate through arrays and lists, and you can do many more things as well. Next episode, we are going to be talking about errors. If you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing and check out the playlist to the right for the rest of the series. Thanks for watching.